what is going on guys welcome back to another android application development video in android studio in this video we are going to learn how we can create a recycler view and populate data over it so this is what we are going to achieve at the end of this video so we have image view also text views also so this is our custom item view we are populating this in recycler view so recycler view is more powerful and useful than list view so we need to understand how it works so let's get started with new android studio project select empty activity and give the application name I am giving my recycler view demo give the package name select language as java minimum SDK lollipop and click on finish so our project is loaded successfully now we have to add the dependency for the recycler view so just go to gradle over here and click on build gradle and in the dependencies add dependency for recycler view so you need to add this dependency for recycler view and click on sync now so now we can close this build.gradle we will go to activity main.xml and click on split over here delete this hello world view change this constant layout to relative layout and we will add recycler view over here so recycler view width will be match parent and height will be wrap content we will give the id recycler view and now we need to create a class so we will create an item class so that we can uh, put the data over here uh, we will give the data like string name and one data can be email you can give any number of data but I am only giving name email and one image so for image I will give the resources so I will give the int image so I have these three data and I will generate constructor for this and also I will generate getter and setter so our item class is done we can close it now we will create an item view layout so inside recycler view each item should have a single layout so we will create that go to resource layout new layout resource file we will give the name item view and we will change this root element to relative layout and click on ok so same click here is split over here so we will make design over here what we want to do first I will change the height of this relative layout to wrap content so it will not occupy the whole space and we will add first image view I will give the size of image view 48 dp both for height and width and id that will be image view same this is our image view and after that I will add one text view width will be wrap content or match parent maybe and height will be wrap content I will give the id for text view uh, name I will set the color of text view to black I will set tools text that will be anything name so name will display like this but we want that uh, after the image view so we will give it here end of image view in this way we have image view and text I will copy this and create another email ID and it should be below name so I will give the tool text as email at email.com maybe anything you can give so this is our name email and we have image view over here I will increase the name size so text size 20 dp and here is uh, no margin after uh, image so I will give the margin to image also margin right 10 dp and also I will center this vertically center vertical true so we have image view name and email 
I will give a divider over here so that it will divide another uh, item. So for divider, I will use linear layout width match parent and height will be about 2 dp and I will give the background color I will select the custom simple gray color so it will come below the image view so below image view yes we have divider over here and I will give some margin margin top about 10 dp and in relative layout also I will give the margin top about 10 dp so our item view is good to go we have given id image view name and email so we will get that so for recycler view we need to create two classes one is view holder class and one is adapter class so let's create them go to here and new class first my view holder class so we will inherit it from recycler view dot view holder class and we will create the constructor for this in view holder we will create the reference of those item view these items so here we have image view first that is image view and we have two text view name view and email view so we will get the reference over here image view is equal to item view dot find view by id id was image view name view is equal to item view dot find view by id name and also email view email so we can delete this uh, annotation it is giving us error so we have created the reference of image view name view and email view in my view holder so we are done with my view holder now let's create adapter class my adapter and also extend it from recycler view dot adapter class and we have to pass here my view holder now just implement all the methods all three methods on create view holder on bind view holder and get item count so we can delete this annotation so we have three methods over here let's create a constructor where we can get the context so we need context first and also we need list of items so we have created the item class so we can get the list of items as items import it so we need two things context and items so with that we can create a constructor generate constructor now we will go to on create view holder method and return a view holder from here return new my view holder we need to pass something over here layout inflator dot from context so we should inflate the layout that is r dot layout dot item that we have created and we should pass the view group that is parent view group and at last attach to root we will false so in this way we have written our view holder and we have given the item view that we have created now on bind view holder when we are binding the view we will set the each items data to the view so let's do that so we have holder dot name view dot set text so we will set the name to the name view for that items list we have dot get position and dot get name so from list of items we are passing the position to get the single item and the name of that single item we are setting to name view in the same way holder dot email view dot set text items dot get position dot get email in this way we are setting email also same way we will set for image view also so for image view we have to set the image resource items dot get 
position dot get image so in this way we are binding all the data to the views and at last in item get count we will return count of total items we have created so size of total items it will return in this way our my adapter work is also done we have created the view holder and return it we are binding all the data in view and we are returning the size total now let's go to main activity so in main activity we have only the recycler view so we will create the reference of that recycler view is equal to find view by id r dot id dot recycler view and we need to set the layout manager for recycler view linear layout manager this and at last we have to set the adapter so we have created the adapter we will pass that adapter and we have created the constructor where we are getting the application context and list of items but we have not created the list of items yet so let's create that first over here we can create list of item we will give the name items is equal to new array list so we will add the data for items over here like new item we have created the constructor where we are passing the name uh, we can give anything for now john wick and email and the image view but we have not added the image in our application so i have downloaded this image from internet so these are the images i will copy this and paste it in drawable folder in android studio in this drawable not in version 24 i will paste in simple drawable so i have all these images for uh, testing purpose so i will give each images to each items so for the first item i am giving the a so it will be r dot drawable dot a in this way we can add as many as items so i will add some items so i have added eight items and i will copy this and i will paste i will make it 16 for testing purpose and i will pass that items list over here in the constructor in this way our recycler view is also done so we can run the application to test it so our application is running successfully and we can see all the items over here we have image view also we have name view and we have email view so yes it is running successfully if you have liked this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you and if you want this project i will put it in github and i will put the link in the description box below don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video Bye bye